Hey guys, we're at the Dollar Tree right there. You can see it. Two things in this video, how to make 500 bucks a month selling Dollar Tree products and how to make $70,000 a year doing Amazon FBA. Now that 500 bucks a month, that's also using Amazon FBA. So watch the first part of the video and the second part's gonna make a lot more sense. Let's get into it. Okay, into the Dollar Tree to buy some stuff to sell for money. We gotta get a cart though. Ideally one with two handles because one handle ain't gonna work. Into the seasonal holiday section, all that stuff. We don't want it. Fourth of July, that's for next summer. But this stuff right here, mmm, Thanksgiving, mashed potatoes, harvest, Halloween, owls, all this stuff. And so we're gonna scan this now and see what we can sell because I bet you some things are worth money. Yup, right there, foam fall acorn, making us 225 profit, but that is not including the, uh, the cost price. Now here's the fee breakdown. You can see very cheap, and then if I put the $1 buy price in there, our cost, we're still making a buck 25 per sale. This here, ha, more holiday stuff. Uh, a stick with, with words on it. Family, friends, it's worth some money, but watch out, not a lot are gonna sell. Might be better on eBay because of the keywords. This one, Day of the Dead. Something in Spanish I can't say, but please, please, please let me know how it's pronounced. I think they're awesome, look really cool, really nice, pretty high quality for a dollar store, but sadly worth nothing. It isn't always the cool stuff. You gotta scan everything. Scan these Hot Wheels right here, except don't scan the barcodes. Look up the name individually. The barcodes are not gonna work. You're gonna have to look up the item by its title. This one is the Hot Wheels Skull Crusher Glow in the Dark Diecast Car. Okay, we're selling a few a month, and it is profitable, but is only one worth it? Yes, I think so, and what I'm gonna do beyond this is look for more of these Skull Crusher Beast Wheel Beasts, or whatever they're called. Uh, do we have one? Yeah, one more back there, and I'm sure there are a lot more, but don't just take my word for it. Look up everything, like this, a uh, Baja Blazers Audi Quattro. It's worth money. I'm not gonna scan all the cars because that might tank a lot of the listings, but just on your own, go to Kroger, go to Walmart, go to the dollar store, go to Rite Aid, and look up the Hot Wheels cars because if you're buying for a dollar and you sell them for 10 bucks, the money, it's not easy. It's not hard, it is easy. It's easy money, what am I saying? Let's keep this train running, folks. Back in the toy section, other side of the aisle, nothing good here. It's all private label junk that anyone can make. But what's this in the corner I spy down there, hiding from me like an animal? UCC, blah, 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 one punch man, little bagged toys. They're little clips for a backpack or whatever they are. This is a well-known brand. I'm gonna buy all of these and sell them around Christmas. I feel great about this because of the branding and the size and weight. And it isn't a Dollar Tree video without soap. Now, why do I add soap? I've had seven videos about soap because look up this right here, Dawn Platinum. I have tanked the listing a dozen times and it's still coming back. It's still profitable. You can still make a lot of money selling Dollar Tree soap. Each of those little dips on that chart, that's a sale. Hundreds and hundreds of these a year, you're gonna make some money. After soap, on to cereals. Now my Dollar Tree, not all of them have this, they have General Mills Overstock Cereal. What's the kicker? Well, when you scan these, you gotta look up not only the price, what they're going for, but also flip it over and look at the barcode, or look at the, the top code, I mean, not the barcode. See when it expires, and this cereal, ah, well, it's close. Now the rule with Amazon is you wanna have at least four months shelf life, hopefully six months. That's what they recommend you doing. Uh, these cereals, if they only have two months to go, I would not send them in. I would do eBay because generally with discontinued food items, you're gonna have an easier time selling uh, past expiration date ones on eBay. Now, not all Dollar Trees have these cereals, but remember that advice because it is applicable to many, many, many different kinds of, uh, of things you might buy. Okay, we got the items. Now back to my warehouse where I'm gonna tell you how to make money off these, how to prep them everything you want to know, and then how to make $70,000 a year doing this. Okay, we're back in the warehouse, and now I'm gonna to explain to you how to make that money. Uh, with these items, now you gotta sell them on Amazon. So you're gonna list them, you're gonna prep them, and you're gonna send them in. Listing them is simple, they're all new items, so you put a sticker over the back barcode. If you're saying, what do you mean by that? I have a video that goes through every single step, and I, I have it below in the description, so watch that. 
Prepping for new items is very simple too. They're not going to break, uh, with the exception of maybe if we had bought that skull thing. So you just put them in a box, make sure they're packed nicely, and send it. UPS to Amazon. How much does that cost? Luckily, Amazon has negotiated rates just for you that you can use if you are sending things to Amazon. You're going to pay about a quarter a pound if you have a 50 pound box. So you want to make sure the load is big, not a small load, because obviously as the loads get smaller, if it's one item, it'll cost like five dollars. If it's 50 items, it'll cost you know a quarter an item uh, if you're doing the quarter per pound and. That makes sense, right? And then Amazon stores them. They keep them in their warehouse and they ship them out. And do you pay shipping? No, the customer does. That's how Amazon Prime works. Amazon Prime sellers are most usually FBA sellers. And so what they're saying is, the reason we can get this product to you in one or two days is not because we have 10 million you know, UPS guys. It's because we have these items and we have these integrated supply chains where it's very easy for us to take this item from a big warehouse as Joliet, Illinois, put it on a UPS truck or our own Amazon truck or a USPS truck and get it to you in two days. That's why these items cost so much more. Really, you're not, the person's not paying you for soap. I mean, they are, but don't look at it that way. They're paying you to get them soap in one day where they just press a button and go. You're almost like a personal shopper in a sense. Don't think of this as ripping someone off because you're making a 600% ROI on your item because that really doesn't take into consideration how any store sells their items. No one is selling things at cost. Everyone's adding their own value some way with a location or convenience, or maybe it's a rare item, who knows? These are all things uh, that are used to provide value, and that value is, well, you, you, you see it obviously. When you can sell things for more money, it's because they're worth more to that person. So think of it that way. If you're uncomfortable with uh, aspects of capitalism because, well, there's a million reasons you might have those opinions, but if you are, don't focus on the ROI because those are just, you know, kind of nebulous numbers that really have no meaning uh, outside of comparing one sale to the other. Think of it as, what am I doing that's worth $5 more than going into the store to buy it? Now, there's a lot of people out there who'd pay you 5 bucks to go to the dollar store to buy them a soap. A lot of people. Uh, but when you phrase it in the way of Amazon FBA mailing it to them, suddenly they think it's a big deal. So don't don't be like that. I think that's probably as succinctly as I can put it, um, you know, watering it down. But uh, that's how this works. Now, how about that $70,000? How do you do that using these things? Well, first of all, you're not going to be buying dollar store items. You're going to see in the video even, I didn't scan all the items because I don't want to ruin those listings because sometimes... A lot of people watch these videos. So all those Hot Wheels cars, for example, go back and scan those. Beyond that though, beyond dollar store items, because very rarely are you gonna have a dollar store item sell for more than 10 bucks, and $10 transactions, we have to have a lot of them to get $70,000 a year. But what you should do is think of it this way. I wanna make 70 grand a year. Let's say 72 grand, it's easier that way. That's $6,000 a month, right? Six times 12 is 72. So how do we do that? Well, we're gonna have to sell 60 products a month that make us 100 bucks, you know, 200 at 30, et cetera, et cetera. How do I do that? Well, you begin scanning things. Where else, what places are like the Dollar Tree? Walmart is. Can you buy things at Walmart and sell it for more money? Yes, absolutely you can, I have videos on that. Thrift stores, can you buy thrift store things? Used items and sell them on Amazon to make huge profits? Yes, you can. I have that on my YouTube channel too. I have all these things that make me more than 70 grand a year. Now I have warehouse costs. I have all these other costs that are my own fault. I'm not a great seller. I just can explain this to you in a way that I hope you can learn from this. What Amazon FBA does is you're not storing things. You don't have to be dumb like me and have a warehouse. You're not dealing with customer service because they handle that. You just buy the items, prep them. And again, I have videos on that below and mail them to Amazon using their heavily discounted rates. They store it, they ship it out, and yes, you are sometimes paying a 40% fee, which seems crazy to the uh, uninformed, I guess. But when you look at it, 
40% not to store items, not to pay shipping on individual items, not to deal with customer service. It tends to make sense that way. Now, of course, don't put all your eggs in one basket, but when you want to make 50 grand more a year, 70 grand more a year, you have to think, okay, what are ways that I can just use existing systems like Amazon's fulfillment network to scale up my own personal business? And that's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope the video was helpful. I have a lot more about Dollar Tree finds, about thrift store finds, about how to make money, about how to control your future. And I want you to be hopeful about that because if you're someone who feels dismayed at their current options, I want to help you out. I want to help you if you want to help yourself. That's the whole thing about this channel. I want to provide information so people can go out there and take control of their lives. If you like that, if you believe in that message, please subscribe. Uh, tell your friends about this channel, and I'll see you guys later. And, you know, again, if you want to make some money, this is a great way to do it.